Google Kickstart Round C 2020. Let's solve this. First question is countdown for 12 points. We are given an array of integer numbers and we have to find out the m countdown. So m equal to 3, then 3 to 1 is the subarray. We have to find out number of subarrays are in our array. So here is a sample input for this array. There is a subarray is 3 to 1 and it is repeating two times. So answer is 2. So let me explain it. So here k equal to 3 and uh, array is 12 length and we have to find out the sub array is 3 to 1 it is always like this so we have to find out 3 to 1 sub array in our array so here is the first possible answer this is second possible so our answer is 2 for this example k equal to 2 so our sub array become 2 1 and it is not there in our array so our answer is 0 here k equal to 6 so our sub array becomes 6 5 4 3 2 1 and here it is so we find out one sub array so answer is 1 so how can we solve this we can solve this using two for loops first k equal to 3 then in first for loop we find out look for the k equal to 3 so here our element is 3 then we trigger our second for loop first element is 3 second should be 2 if it is 2 no then we break the loop and continue in our main for loop it is 3 no this is 3 no this is 3 yes it is 3 then we trigger the second for loop first element is 3 second should be 2 it is it is 2 we say yes then we continue next should be 1 if it is 1 yes then we have the entire sub array this is our first sub array so let's say we have a integer called uh, answer then we increment is every time we find out our sub array so answer plus plus and then we continue in our main for loop so this is 3 no the next element it is 3 yes it is 3 then we trigger our for loop first element is 3 second is 2 yes it is 2 then the next one should be 1 it is 1 yes then we have entire sub array so we increment our counter answer plus plus so 2 is our answer and this is 2 this is 1 so the, our for loop is ended for this example it is 6 no 6 no this is 6 yes then it triggered the second for loop first is 6 second should be 5 then it is 5 then next should be 4 yes then this is 3 we say yes this is 2 yes this is 1 yes we have the entire sub array so we increment our counters and then we continue in main for loop this is 6 no 6 no 6 no 6 no that's it so answer is 1 this is how we solve this question let's code it first is a t test cases and for test cases we have a for loop to get input here we get two things length of an array and k so int n and uh, k every test case we get input for n and k after that we have array of n length and then we have input for entire array so again a for loop to get input of the array see in array that element once we get array we need to follow first for loop is we go through the array for integer let's say j equal to 0 j is less than n and j plus plus we simply check if array j element is equal equal k then we trigger the second for loop that is for loop let's say for integer a equal to j and a is less than j plus k and a plus plus we simply check if our th element is equal equal now here we need a variable let's say integer x equal to k because we have to decrement it every time so if it is equal to x then we decrement x by 1 and it keep going on and if it is not true 
else condition is we simply break the loop because it is not a sober and once we go through the second for loop we check if x becomes zero it means we get our entire sober so we increment our answer by one let's define our answer variable here let's say int answer equal to zero so this is our solution and we have to print out the value of answer so we can do it right uh, below the end of the our first for loop so here see out yes it is okay correct so see out this is our format case and then we have i plus one th test cases and our answer is answer that's it let's execute our code and it is correct so let's copy our code and paste it here submit our code and it will get accepted so yes it got accepted so that is the solution thank you for watching guys